Hey guys, I'm Deepti Desikin and in this video we're going to be talking about some dupes for some discontinued lipsticks. Now first up I have to tell you guys it was really difficult to get an exact shade match. So they're quite similar, maybe not a 100% match, I will mention it right here on the screen. And also um, this video was filmed in different parts, some of it in natural light, some of it in this light because right now it's dark and it's a different day uh, but I really wanted to try my best to find the closest match to most of the discontinued popular lipsticks. So anyways yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video let's get to the swatches. The first one we're going to be duping is the Blue Heaven non-transfer lipstick in the shade dark chocolate this was discontinued prior and a lot of you guys asked me to find a dupe for that and the dupe for that is from mask this one is in the shade berry brave. As you guys can see from the swatch the mask lip crayon is a little bit lighter than Blue Heaven itself but this is the closest I could get to that shade. I find the mask lip crayon to be a lot more comfortable in my opinion compared to the Blue Heaven one. It can be a little bit too drying on the lips and uh, the mask one is transfer proof and very long wearing as well. Next up we have a discontinued lipstick that is Maybelline Loaded Bowls in the shade Chocoholic. This was requested as well on my channel. And the dupe we have for that is from Maybelline itself. And this one is the Maybelline uh, Creamy Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade Muted Taupe. This is one of the like newer launches. I'm hoping it is still available as well. It's nice that we could find a dupe for a Maybelline lipstick from Maybelline itself. And out of that newer launch of Creamy Matte Lipstick, this shade Muted Taupe happened to be my favorite. I've mentioned it in that review video as well. And these shades are almost identical on the lips. A uh, quick update, I recently checked that even Muted uh, Taupe has been discontinued. So we have another option. This one is the Mars Matinee Lipstick and this one is in the shade Chestnut Courage. This lipstick is a little bit more matte than the Maybelline lipstick itself and it goes on a little bit creamy but settles down pretty much matte and they feel lightweight and comfortable on the lips. And another shade that is quite similar to Chocoholic is from Lacme. This is their lip crayon in the shade Foxy Brown. This is one of my favorite shades and little did I know this could be a very good dupe for Chocoholic from Maybelline. Next up we have another super popular discontinued Maybelline lipstick which is Berry Bossy and the dupe I have for that and the closest one is from Mars. This one is in the shade Dine Out. Uh, Dine Out is more of a matte lipstick. It's, it's like a cream to matte lipstick formulation and it settles down completely like that and it's pretty much transfer proof whereas Maybelline is more of a creamy matte lipstick but I feel like this is the closest I could get and it's also quite affordable. So this one is Maybelline and this one is uh, mass. You could also try out the shades uh, Baby Houseman and Devilry which can be a little bit similar to Maybelline. Um, lipstick but they are a little bit pricier. I have compared both of those shades like um, Baby Houseman and uh, Berry Bossy in this video. You can check it out. And another shade that is quite similar to Maybelline Berry Bossy is Blue Heaven Intense Matte Lipstick in the shade Aged Wine. Now straight up I have to agree that Maybelline one is a little bit more pigmented and maybe slightly more deeper like it has a little bit more of that purple hint to it and Aged Wine doesn't have that. It's a little bit more on the pink side but uh, this is the closest I could get to this particular shade. Do let me know if you guys have any very similar dupe in the comments down below. Next up we have the Faces Canada lipstick in the shade uh, Noble Garnet. Now this is again a discontinued shade and the dupe I have for that is from uh, Daily Forever 52. This one is their Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Royalty. Uh, I feel like Royalty does have a little bit more brown than Faces. Faces has a little bit more red and also the Daily Forever 52 lipstick has a little bit more pigmentation than the Faces lipstick itself but they look very similar and this Faces lipstick is a little bit unique like to dupe as well. Next up we have the shade called Six Feet Umber from Sugar and the closest match I have for that is from Eba. This one is in the shade Toffee Brown. Toffee Brown is a little bit more brown than uh, Six Feet Umber. Six Feet Umber does have a little bit more mauve as well. I will show you a couple of other options that I have but I couldn't find the exact shade match for this because the shade is quite unique. And another shade I feel like again leans a little bit more brown but uh, these are all like grungy shades is uh, Swiss Beauty Lip Crayon in the shade uh, coffee. Uh, it's not an I 
tentacle match but i'm just showing you guys different options i mean i'm not the one who's making these lipsticks so unique so ask sugar why they've discontinued this and another shade i feel like again is from uh, inside this one is a lip liner and i'm not very sure of the shade i think it is ln 10 now the inside lip liner is a little bit more matte Whereas the sugar one has a little bit more sheen to it. And the shade I wouldn't say is a 100% match, but this is the closest I could get to this very unique shade. Next up, we have the sugar metal lipstick. This one is in the shade number 07 Gabriella. And the closest we have is from Daily Forever 52. This one is in the shade Lantana. This is like a really, really similar shade and like close match. The Daily Forever 52 lip crayons will not disappoint you. Maybe the smell of it is a little bit rosy. You might not like it. Like it smells like rose water, but the pigmentation, the comfort level and the lasting power is pretty good. And it's a really nice lip crayon. And if you can find it on discount, even better. Next up, we have the Maybelline Superstay lip crayon. And this one is in the shade Live on the Edge. And then the dupe for that we have is from Essence. This is their long lasting lipstick in the shade Now or Never. So maybe the Maybelline lip crayon is a little bit more long lasting than the Essence one, but the Essence lipsticks, you know, you can count on it to be really comfortable on your lips. Like if you have super, super dry chapped lips, you would really enjoy the formula of the Essence lipstick. They are really affordable and feel high quality on the lips. And even you, you can see the shade is also really similar. Next up, we have the Swiss Beauty lipstick in the shade Rusty Nude. Now these shades were discussed continued they've been bought back in stock so if you can pick them up while they're available in case you feel like you can't find them i have an alternative which is not really affordable but a shade match this one is uh, in the this one is daily forever 52 and this one is in the shade versilla so again of course these lip crayons are a little bit more pricier if you wanted a similar shade or if you already have this shade then this shade in Versilla is a little bit lighter than Swiss Beauty lipsticks. Swiss Beauty lipsticks are hands down, really pigmented, beautiful on the lips. And so if you can find them, pick them up. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like only if you feel like it's going to be discontinued and you can't find it, then you can resort to this alternative. Next up, we have the Sugar Metal Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Bellatrix. It's a very popular shade. It is, again, not available anymore. The closest match I have for that is from Lacme. This one is in the shade Mauve Party. I've already swatched this in another video. Now, one thing I need to mention about the Lacme Liquid Lipstick is that it's not very pigmented like it is a little bit runny so you need to build on it a little bit and because of that you can see a little bit of a color difference but the shade is really really similar and see even in the hand swatch like it has that right amount of morph and uh, that pink undertone that sugar has of course on the lips it's a little bit runny so not as pigmented and i had to build it up about three times to get it to the pigmentation i desire but they are, of course, very affordable and very comfortable on the lips. Next up, I will be swatching uh, Wet n Wild Mocha Dishes. Now, this is a very difficult shade to dupe, so please forgive me. I have a shade that is a little bit darker or a shade a little bit lighter, but not an exact shade match. So I have this one from Day, uh, this one from Essence, and this is in the shade Famous. It's called 05 Famous, which is a smidge darker than Mocha Dishes itself, like a little bit more purplish uh grungy undertone again another shade that is a little bit darker than mocha licious is a uh, kiro lunar berry and the formula is a little bit more matte as well it doesn't have as much sheen as wet n wild mocha licious next up we have the sugar metal lipstick this one is in the shade 08 eugene now this shade eugene is a little bit unique uh it has that brown undertones but also has a little bit of like dusty gray undertone to it so i have a closest dupe this one is from shambo this is their riot lipstick in the shade mocha swoosh it doesn't have that dusty you know mauve gray undertone to it but it is a cool toned brown shade and on the lips they do look quite similar so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful i did try my best to find similar shades but if you have any suggestions for alternatives to these lipsticks do let me know in the comment section down below i'm always open to know more options available and uh, while you're at it also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it did take me a lot of effort and i did have to get my hands on some of these products i even think that they're expired like the sugar six feet umber so yeah make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one